Hello and welcome to Children's Time. It's good to be with you again this week. This week we're going to talk about how each one of us is special and is needed to make up the body of Christ. And to hear about this, we're going to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And 1 Corinthians is found in the New Testament of our Bibles. And it's one of many letters that makes up part of the New Testament. So we'll read from 1 Corinthians 12. We'll start at, chap at verse 4 and we'll read for a couple verses and then we'll skip to verse 12. There are different spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are different ministries and the same Lord. And there are different activities, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. A demonstration of the Spirit is given to each person for the common good. Christ, Jesus, is just like the human body. A body is a unit and has many parts. And all of the parts of the body are one body, even though they are many. We were all baptized by one spirit into one body, whether Jew or Greek, or slave or free, and we all were given one spirit to drink. Certainly, the body isn't one part, but many. If the foot says, I'm not a part of the body because I'm not a hand, does that mean it's not part of the body? And if the ear says, I'm not a part of the body because I'm not an eye. Does that mean it's not part of the body? If the whole body were an eye, what would happen to the hearing? And if the whole body were an ear, what would happen to the sense of smell? But as it is, God has placed each one of the parts in the body just like he wanted. If all were one and the same body part, what would happen to the body? But as it is, there are many parts, but one body. So what Paul is saying here, that the church is the body of Christ, the body of Jesus. And we have all these people in the church, including you, including me, that have special gifts that we've been given to use to help other people, to help worship God, and to do all sorts of things for the church. And so... As we use those gifts, they're all different. And so each one of us is a little different. And there's not one of us that is more important than another. We need all of those gifts to be able to be the church. Because if we all had the exact same gift, that would be like every one of our body parts being a hand. That's not going to work because we wouldn't be able to walk without feet or see without eyes, right? That's what Paul's talking about. So just think, if everything on our bodies was an ear, that wouldn't work, right? If my whole face was an ear, I wouldn't be able to see or smell or taste, right? If my whole body was a nose, that's not going to work either. What if my whole face was just made up of noses? I couldn't talk, I couldn't see or hear, that's not going to work either, right? What if my whole body was made up of mouths? That's not going to work either, is it? Then I wouldn't be able to hear or see or smell anything. That doesn't work either. So we're like one of these little body parts, right? We're a mouth, each one of us. One of us is a mouth, one of us is an ear, one of us is a hand, one of us is an eye. And when we all come and work together, that's what makes the body whole. And that's what makes the body work. So when you think about the church, it's important to remember that each one of us is needed to make the church be the body of Christ, to help the church to show Christ to all those around us, right? And to show that love to our neighbors. And so I just want you all to know that you are special and you are needed in the church. So please pray with me. Dear God, thank you that we each have a part to play. 
that we each are special in the body of Christ. Thank you for loving us and giving us gifts. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week on Children's Time.